Please welcome Griffin Henley, guys. Yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My name is Griffin Henley. I uh, recently found out that they are releasing the original version of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, completely unedited, as he had originally intended it to be. <laughs> Would you like me to read it for you now? <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volumes of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Here's some visitor, I muttered. Only this, nothing more. <laughs> Open here I found the shutter, when with many flirt and flutter, in their stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched above a bust of palace. <laughs> Just above my chamber door, perched and set, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling, my fair fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern they bore of the countenance it bore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim, an ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on this night's plutonium shore. Quoth the raven, it's Dennis! <laughs> Much I marveled this ungainly foul, to hear this word so plainly thou, its answer little meaning, little romance he bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculpted bust above his chamber door, with such a name as... Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> then this ebony bird beguiling, <laughs> but the raven, sitting lonely on the placid bus, spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word did outpour. Nothing further did he utter, not a feather then he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, Other friends have flown before, on the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Wanna look at my pics for Marcy's bachelorette party? <laughs> we went to Vegas, she got super wasty, and she totally vomited everywhere. <laughs> but if you ask me, you know, she could really use to vomit a bit more often. She's a total fucking cow. <laughs> On this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore. What? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> You're my crazy friend. I'm gonna call you Kooky Carl, because you're my crazy kooky friend. Let's do skittle shots! <laughs> The raven never hitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadows on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted. Within one to two business days, shipping in hand. <laughs> this message has been brought to you by Candles. <laughs> Light bulbs not spooky enough for you? Oh. Candles! <laughs> Thank you all very much. <laughs>